morning, it's Nades. I'm starting off another vlog this weekend. It's Friday, so let's see like how much clips I get. But today, again, it's Friday. No, it's not Friday, it's Saturday already. So it's a proper weekend vlog, okay? Um, it's 10 a.m. and I'm feeling very good and productive because this morning I had blueberry pancakes. So good. I will show you them. Maybe I'll cook them again tomorrow. Sunday morning and then I have a video set on premiere right now so here is I this is me I'm feeling so productive because I got this up on premiere it's gonna be up later this afternoon and I just spent the morning just making this thumbnail I actually don't really like making thumbnails but here's a little here's a little peek slash insight on I guess how I like to make my graphics nowadays this is Photoshop and I have a lot of art boards because it's just easier to go through like different frames. So these are like my inspiration for the video, an ode to my old clothes. And then I just kind of make like title cards or like random backgrounds um, inspired by it. So this video, I wanted to go for a more geometric and like trendy look. So this is what, yeah, this is what like the transitions look like and this is the thumbnail that I came up with so I spent literally like an hour making this it, it takes so long oh I also I, I wanted to share with you this awesome like hack so if you guys are also like working on something like schoolwork or like for me photoshop it gets so boring so okay this is I was reviewing my video, okay? I am. I, I don't like watch my own video while I, uh, you know, I was reviewing it. You might be wondering, how did I get that to work? Let's see. Okay, we like Arden Rose. We love her. This is the video, just on YouTube. And I have a lot of these. First of all, I have a lot of tabs. But I have this Chrome extension. So I'm using Google Chrome and it's called Picture in Picture Extension by Google. And you just press it. And then there. It's it's there. The video's there. You can make it big. You can move it around, and you can like switch it. Like if like if you want to scroll on Twitter, you can do it. And then the video's there. You can play it. You can work on Photoshop. You can work on Google Docs. You know stuff like that. I think it's so helpful and useful rather than me having to like play it on my phone. Today we are making some Korean inspired stir fried chicken with rice cakes. Letting you know that if you don't like the sight of raw chicken, please pause now and check the description box for raw chicken free timestamps. If you're okay with it, then let's begin. So here's the brand of rice cakes that I'll be using. I'm breaking them apart because they were in the freezer and I'm just going to submerge them in warm water while I prepare the other ingredients. Here's what we are chopping. You can add any vegetable that you like, but I had Taiwan pad chai, two cloves of garlic, and a white onion. Here is your last raw chicken warning. <laughs> I'm gonna chop the chicken breast into some strips. You can also chop them into cubes, depends on what you like. I was feeling strips. For the sauce, I just eyeball things to suit my taste, to be honest, so you can do the same. Here are just the general ingredients that you need. I'm mixing around half a teaspoon of gochujang with vaguely an equal amount of Korean miso pasting and adding in a sprinkle of sugar and a teaspoon of this Korean bulgogi marinade and adding one of the chopped garlic cloves. I mix it up a bit and then I'm gonna add some warm water to liquefy the sauce, of course, and to make sure things aren't super salty. I recommend making a lot more than what I'm making right now because later you will see that I had to make the sauce one more time because I needed more liquid to help me cook the rice cakes and the chicken stuff. You'll see that later. I'm gonna put the chicken in the sauce for a bit of marinating time. Let's get cooking. In a pan, I'm melting some margarine. You can use oil, you can use butter, whatever you have. When it's hot, I'm gonna put in the garlic and onion and let it cook a bit, soften them up. When they have browned, I'll add in the chicken breast and I'm gonna cook it for a few minutes on each side. 
When the chicken is mostly cooked, I'm gonna add in the tteokbokki with the rest of the marinade. Stirring everything together to make sure the sauce coats everything and will that will just help with the cooking process. And I'm gonna close the pan, you know, adding the lid on top of it. After cooking the rice cakes for a bit, I'm adding the pet chai or any veg that you wanna add in. And we're just gonna hopefully steam it with the lid closed as well. After a few minutes of cooking and checking to see if the rice cakes have softened, I'm now adding in the sauce that I told you about that I had to make again, just so that the rice cakes and the veg have something to absorb. And I'm also adding some chopped green onion or chives for extra flavor. This is my favorite. And I'm stirring everything again and letting everything simmer for a few minutes. I'm pretty sure that it could go for a bit longer, but at this point, I was super hungry. So I transferred everything to a bowl and I served this baby up. So good. It's really good and definitely hits a spot if you're craving for Korean food. You can also add eggs, fish cakes, mini sausages, anything your heart desires. But this is what I ended up having for lunch. I finished eating and I feel like I should have either added like tofu or some more rice cakes because I think I'm still hungry. Or maybe I'll go get fruit. I think I'll I'll go I'll I'll eat a mango. Yes. Here's my dessert. We have some sapin sapin at home and there's like the coconut. I forget what this is actually called. And then I have the one with red bean. And okay, this is kind of gross looking, but it's good, I swear. It's just coconut milk with some mangoes. But I'm just gonna have this. And I feel like all of you guys are stressed whenever I IG story and I have like a lot of tabs, but this is just the kind of human being I am. So I'm watching Annabelle. This morning, I wanted a soy latte, so I'm gonna use some instant coffee and I'm gonna put in around two teaspoons-ish with some hot water. Mixing and stirring, making sure it's a nice like concentrated amount of coffee. I like to drink coffee iced because I'm a child, so I'm just adding some ice and some soy milk. This is what we have. We just bought it from our neighbor. Thanks, neighbor. And then I'm gonna add in the coffee and I also add in some sugar syrup, simple syrup that I just make. It's just equal parts of water and sugar dissolved. The soy milk I'm using isn't sweetened, that's why I'm adding a lot of the sugar syrup by the way. Please do not judge. The coffee taste was super strong so I had to add another splash of soy milk. But yes, that is it. Delicious. Hey guys, so it's Sunday today and my last clip was just me showing you my breakfast. Uh, I didn't kind of vlog much uh, yesterday, but today it's actually already 2.30 p.m. I already had lunch, we had steak, but I just spent some time doing my bullet journal setup because it is May 31. It's the last day. Wow, it's crazy. <laughs> I just find setting up your bullet journal every end of the month is so therapeutic so here's my setup it's so simple because i'm not really i'm not a drawer and i also don't own a printer so i can't do cool collages so i always um depend on stickers i'm not sure i don't know the artist because i can't find the sticker sheet i have my ascent in today essential this is my gratitude page it's just to say thanks also these stickers and the washi tape, 
I got it from Shopee. So this is the sticker pack. Here are the favorites. And I split it up differently this time. I did consumption. So it could be anything like music, purchasing something, a video, a person, podcast. Ideas, okay, it kind of intersects with the podcast, but essentially like the main idea that I think I learned from or like really liked or enjoyed receiving. Creation is something that I made or an insight or something. So it kind of intersects, everything intersects, but whatever. Okay, this is my habit tracker for this month. Last time I did it like this, this time you c I can just see it more clearly. So the habits I want to track this month, I did it daily, weekly, and this is like social media postings. So I have workout, journal, vitamins, clean, pray for daily. And then weekly is Korean, which is, I, I just do an app, to be honest. Reading, Skillshare, this is weekly, once a week, supposedly a Sunday reset. And then postings for YouTube and Instagram, just so that I can see when I post. Hmm, I should highlight like when a week ends. I have to fix that. Here is my food tracker. So this is what it used to look like, my meal or yeah, my food menu tracker. But it's just super tight. So I split it up to two pages. So I'm not sure how it's going to go. So we're just going to see, but super cute. Put some stickers and then this is my weekly spread. It's just really simple. I just did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then notes. A split very I don't really need that much space right now so this works and then a little tiny brain dump because I had two X I had to use like for two days so I had the space and yeah I could just put notes here and just random brain dump this is a super cute post-it but yeah that's my spread my mini mini dilemma is that I only have like three months worth like 30 pages left and it's only June, so I'm thinking, should I just migrate since after June it's like halfway through the year? Or should I just... I think I'm just gonna use it all up, TBH. But yeah, I'm so excited to finish this. It's it's so cute. My favorite band at the moment, La Veda, just released their album, What Happens After. Their songs are so good if you like Lord, if you like Dream Pop. If you just like, I don't know, the, the songs are really cool. I love Better Now, Ghost, L, Dream Sleep, If Only You Said No. So good. Give them a listen, guys. Please, 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 please. Let's stand. <laughs> they deserve it. Random book recommendation. If you really want to just have your nose stuck in a book for one full day because it's such a page turner and you're want to you're gonna want to read the full book in one sitting. Uh, I recommend The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. My one of my best friends' girlfriend actually like recommended this to me. So if you're watching then hi i don't know if you watch my videos but that's so random um it's such a good book it's such a entertaining and kind of like very it's 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 a very interesting read very fun a lot of things happen it's a roller coaster it's also not like an intellectual read it's definitely something you will be very well entertained with it, 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 if you need something to like get your mind off of things it's the perfect book to read and it's also not pg so if you're not into that then don't read it but if you are then hell yeah <laughs> hey so i wanted to just quickly come on here in this vlog and just talk about all that's happening in the world well not everything that's happening in the world but i think it's amazing how a lot of us are showing up as allies to uh, the black community by trending hashtags such as black lives matter and just letting them know that we see them, we hear them, and of course we're never going to understand what it's like to be black and the struggles that they're going through. Like, we're, like no, we, we, we would never know, okay? We would never feel what they feel, and as much as we try to empathize, I don't think we can really, to a certain extent, like fully grasp what it's like to live the black experience. I think, honestly, we can just extend our sympathy and educate ourselves on the oppression happening around the world and also donate of course 
everything. So I just wanted to share some resources. I'm gonna link things down below because it's so important for us to read up on it and check ourselves and call out on ourselves because I know for a fact that within ourselves, there are parts of us that are inherently racist because, you know, even from the little things. By little things, I'm talking about casual racism or having a mentality such as this. Oh, I'm not actively beating people up or calling them racial slurs. I'm not racist. But what about when you conversationally ask someone where they're really from or have the urge to just want to touch someone's hair just because it's curly or complimenting someone for sounding educated because you're surprised and shocked that, hey, I didn't know someone with your skin tone can speak eloquently and sound like how you speak. What do our presumptions about how someone acts? Um, may it be by how they dress, what they sound like, what they look like, things that they eat, etc. What do they imply? I think action steps of what we can do really starts from one person and it starts with you. But it, it's just so important to read up on topics with various points of view just so that we can get a better sense. Like we can never get the whole sense, but at least we are opening ourselves up to the information and not just being cooped up and saying, wow, the world sucks. Let me just sit, wait for Jesus to come and take us all. You know? No, we have to constantly challenge ourselves and challenge the way that we're thinking. And also, as a democratic country, our own voice is being shushed by the freaking fragility of our government. It's really about power, you know? The world is about how powerful you are and if you have that power, you are scared to lose it and so you want to suppress the other. The point of this is we should really think and reflect and also kind of question ourselves constantly. Yes, it's great that we got hashtags trending, it's great that you reposted something to your story, but what does it really mean and to what extent like this thing will keep on happening until action happens. I think there's just so much things for us to learn and so much things for us to unlearn and it's just this constant um, being and becoming sort of human state that we're in. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. So this is just a reminder for myself and I'm calling myself out and if you feel something when you hear me say this then you feel something. I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but you have the freedom to do whatever you want to do with it, okay? But whenever I post something, I should always check on my intentions and check if I'm just performing for the sake of, oh, I want people to know that I am aware of these social issues. Like, where? Like, in my heart, what are my intentions and what is my stand on something? I know to a certain extent, I do act on self-interest because i'm human i'm selfish how am i gonna survive in this world but with these things and these issues that are so greater so much greater than myself and what i can ever comprehend where do i place myself like who do i want to be who am i uh there, there's just a lot of questions and if you want to ask yourself questions like that too feel free if you don't it's I want to say it's not okay, but who am I to judge, right? Okay, I'm just gonna end this vlog here. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any thoughts, resources, links to places where we can donate, do let us know. I'm gonna go now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. This video always is from my heart to yours. Like, my heart is with you guys. Okay, bye!